My first advice is to carefully read the call and make sure that you make a list of all the requirements and all the aspects that will be valued during the evaluation process. Is it innovation? Is it originality? Teamwork? Leadership? Pay attention to the wording and make sure that you emphasize these aspects in your proposal. Be as clear as possible. The referees that uh, will evaluate your proposal may not be experts in your field. So try to use a wording that is accessible for uh, people working in different fields. Highlight the groundbreaking nature of your project. It can be a new method, novel technology, it could be broader ge geographic scope, or maybe a bigger societal impact. Just make sure it's highlighted. You should try to uh, include a letter from someone that you have worked closely with in the past, such as a colleague or someone uh, with whom you have developed a scientific collaboration or a student that you have mentored in the past. It is important to have recommendation letters that reflect your mentoring and leadership skills, which are very relevant in, this, in the next steps towards becoming an independent researcher. And I also think diversity is a great thing. So if possible, ask referees from different institutes, different backgrounds, potentially different nationalities and genders, etc. Having people with different perspectives to write about you will paint a broader picture. And it also says a lot of good things about you as a team member. Now it's the time to show the evaluators your communication skills, the ability to defend your ideas, problem-solving skills, your initiative, your enthusiasm. My advice is to prepare well for the interview, not just for the 10-minute presentation, but also anticipate questions and practice answers. You use a clear and direct speech. Do not exceed, exceed the time limit for your presentation and do not ramble on with long and vague uh, answers. That might, there must be enough time for all members of the panel to ask you at least one question. 